Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, kings and queens, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in the continent, and to those who are in the diaspora, you are most welcome in our platform where we share thoughts, updates, uh, views, and sometimes uh, providing best solutions for our challenges and problems. So uh, today I have a question and I want to hear from you. Can the president of Senegal, uh, Diomaye Faye, bring Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger back into ECOWAS? Um, what is your thought? Because um, Mr. Faye was tasked on Sunday uh, with bringing uh, Metal Road, Mali, Niger, and the Burkina Faso back to ECOWAS at the organization's summit in Abuja. So remember, Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso already formed their own alliance and uh, take over several relations with um, their West African neighbors. So, do you see Domai Fire is going to succeed uh, this task uh, that has been assigned by the ECOWAS? And of course, uh, maybe because uh, Mr. Fire is the young uh, leader in the ECOWAS, if you look at the ages of many leaders in ECOWAS, many of them are aged, for instance, uh, President of Ghana is about 80 years old, Mr. Nanada Kufo. If you go to President Tunub, the hedge is gone. Um, Mr. Kwatala, Kudivua, and many other uh, leaders in the course, it looks they are uh, too old. But maybe because Fire is the youngest at 44, can engage with uh, his fellow young leaders in Mali, Niger, uh, and Burkina Faso. Despite in Niger, uh, Mr. Chan is uh, elder. So the three, the two one, uh, the two uh, Mali and Burkina Faso are young leaders. Maybe that is the reason why Mr. Fai was appointed to take uh, this task. To make sure that uh, Mr. Fire will bring back Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso. But it is not a simple task uh, because these countries already take their own decisions, their own destiny. So I don't think uh, it will be easy. Uh, this task, I think, it will be difficult. As I said in my, in my previous videos, that maybe even Fire himself will be confused. To rejoin to the alliance of Sahel State because we have seen the uh, Prime Minister, I think, of um, Niger uh, invited uh, other members in the ECOWAS to join the alliance of Sahel State because uh, I said uh, during addressing the uh, the people in Kenya at the summit that the alliance of Sahel State is to cut. Uh, colonial uh, ties with their former colonies so they have been exploited for too long uh, resources have been taken away for instance Niger has producing uranium but the uranium produced or extracted from Niger is powering uh, European countries while Niger itself uh, is in the dark uh, position so they have decided to take their own distant in their hands so will mr fire succeed this task that is a difficult question that and the question that are in the head in the minds of africans waiting to see if mr fire will succeed and if mr fire will succeed i think he will be one of the best president in ECOWAS because uh, as you see, uh, the leaders such as um, Ibrahim Traore, uh, who have been praised by many Africans, 
uh, for his stance unshakable so i think <laughs> um there's something to do but all in all i'm trying to ask that because we have seen that uh this this task is difficult to mr fire but nothing is impossible so uh, and we know that ECOWAS still have relations with the United States and France while uh, these Sahelian countries already uh, cut ties with the United States of America and uh, France. So let us see what will happen. So please share with us your opinion. What is your um, uh, thought on this? Do you see Mr. Fire is going to succeed, or uh, Equus will send another mediator to help Mr. Fire to convince the three countries to join to back to rejoin back to Equus. So, please share your thoughts with us. Thank you.